in this problem, uh, we're required to find the area of a regu po regular polygon. Uh, and it seems to me that we are given the measure of a segment. The question is, what is it the measure of? Is it the apothem, the radius, or a side length? Well, it's pretty obvious it's not a side length. So the question is, is it a radius or is it the apothem? Well, I know that a regular polygon can be inscribed in a circle. So what I'm going to do is I am going to connect a vertex to the center of the circle. And since all the vertices lie on the circle itself, Therefore, what I've just drawn is a radius, and let me go ahead and mark that with R. And let me go ahead and that's another radius. So we have two radii. So we have an isosceles triangle here. Okay. Well, I want to find S since I don't have two uh, measures for this right triangle. Um, I can't use the Pythagorean theorem. On the surface of it, there is no angle given. However, this is a regular polygon, so I can go ahead and I can find the central angle right there. And the central angle is 360 degrees divided by the number of sides, um, which is 10. And that's 36 degrees. OK. If that's 36, that means this angle over here will be half of 36. This is 18 degrees. Remember, these two little triangles are congruent to each other. And um, let me identify exactly what I'm trying to find. I am trying to find the side length. But what if I find this length? And I call it x. I know these two sides um, are congruent. And in order to find x, I have to determine which of the trig functions do I use. So I'm going to write them here. So Katoa. And let me ask myself, um, well, r is the radius, and that's also the hypotenuse. The side 5 is adjacent to the angle 18 degrees. So I'm going to say that's adjacent. And x is opposite. So it seems to me since I have opposite and adjacent, I would choose tangent. And tangent of what? Tangent of 18 degrees is opposite, which is x, adjacent, which is 5. Let me cross multiply. I get 5 tangent 18 degrees is equal to x. And uh, before I go any further, I make sure that my calculator is in degree mode. And then I do 5, 10, 18, which gives me 1.62 etc., etc., etc. Now I'm not going to round it at this moment because I want the greatest accuracy, and it's usually wise to round at the end. To find s, I know s is equal to 2x. So in my calculator, I already have the number in. Just say times 2, and I get 3.24-something-something um, equals s. Now let me go back to my formula and see. Uh, if I have all the information I need. Well, I know the apothem is 5. I know the number of sides is 10. And I know the side length is 3.24. 
all of this divided by 2. So if I just plug that into my calculator, or if the answer that I have, I multiply that by 5 and then 10 and divide the answer by 2, I get uh, uh, 81.22, etc. And I can round that to, let's say, one decimal place. So my answer is 81.2 units squared.